Oh my god, I am so damn excited to see the Echelon briefing! A goddamn Fallout! <laughs> Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fallout. This one is, unfortunately, the last review for Season 1. This one is for Episode 8, titled The Beginning. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing a review today. This one's going to be doing a review for Fallout. This one is my final review for Fallout. This one is for Episode 8, titled The Beginning. I, I'm still trying to find the words after watching this one. I mean, honestly, like, what a insane way to cap off a season. Honestly, this is, for me at least, and I know this is going to sound pretty crazy, this is my favorite episode of 2024. This is easily my favorite episode of 2024 out of any entertainment I've watched this year. This is my favorite episode. I have not been this just blown away with an episode of TV like this in a long time. I, I'm going to I'm gonna be honest. This episode completely shifts the view of Fallout, completely changes the whole thing. And, and that really is the best way for me to just get right into this. So this finale, we learn everything about what Vault is about. We learn everything about the backstory, why Cooper hates, you know, uh, Vault the way he does, what went down with his wife, what happened to Lucy's mother, what happened, and, you know, what's going on with Lucy's dad, um, we get it all, we get it all in this one, we even find out why the Vault 33 was attacked in the first damn episode, these writers have absolutely outdone themselves, this, to me, feels like one of those type of episodes that would have taken, like, a year to write, like, honestly, yeah, no, insane, so, Let's just jump straight into this. Um, this episode opens with uh, Maximus, who's taken back by the Brotherhood, and basically is is sentenced to death right away, until the one person says, oh no, I did that to myself with, you know, my, my foot or whatever, I did that to myself, Maximus is innocent. I'm just like, man, you frigger, you know, you almost damn near costed his life, you know? Um... But yeah, you know, he's looked at as trustworthy again. He's back with the Brotherhood and he's, you know, doing what he's doing. And then you've got Lucy, right, who pops up and she goes to see Lee. And, uh, you know, obviously she's the one that attacked Vault 33 last time. She took, you know, Lucy's dad and stuff like that. So we introduce it as Lucy delivers the head to her. We're just like, okay, this is the big villain of the finale. You know, this is the character we've been building up towards. She's a horrible person, you know, um... And that's the way they treat it, you know? You see her, she's sitting there, she's having her dinner and stuff like that. You got this, like, crazy-looking, like, zombified, like, crazy-looking woman that's, like, growling at the table. And you're just like, who the hell is this person? Like, oh my god, like, you know, this woman, you know, Lee, is, like, absolutely psychotic. Like, she's insane. Like, she's just the craziest woman ever, you know? She's got, like, a, you know, what looks like a dead woman, you know, sitting right next to her. Like, she is out of her mind, right? So we think. Then we get the flashbacks where you actually have Cooper that's talking with his wife. He's, you know, he's got the tracker. He's keeping track of her to, to see what she's up to. And we find out in this one, let's, let's just, let's just talk about it. Vault was responsible for the bombs. Vault was responsible for the end of the world. Vault, yes, Vault was responsible for the whole damn thing. Vault Tech, they did it. <laughs> they did it. And the reason why they did it is because of just some experiments that completely changes the lore of Fallout. That completely changes the whole deal. Everything we've seen from the, the games back in like the early 2000s, late 90s, all the way up till this moment. And this is in, in universe. This is in the game universe. You completely relook at how you look at Fallout. Now when you see the bombs and you see everything go off, you know that Vault did that. You know that Vault did all these things. And they were just doing it to see how much they would succeed. How much they would succeed. And that's why they bombed the world. Is to see how they would succeed. How powerful they really are. You know? Wow. Um, I gotta tell you. One of my favorite twists of a TV series I've seen. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. It was a pretty damn insane twist. And the fact that Cooper's wife is fully behind this as well. Just goes to show you. And you know Lucy's dad? Yeah, yeah. Innocent dad that's been taken the whole season. Oh yeah, he goes back to, you know, like two some, 200 some years ago as well too. He met Cooper 
all those years ago. And we see him in the flashback as a, you know, a younger guy. He was behind this the whole time. He was part of this plan the whole time. And Lucy <laughs> has been a daughter of a psychopath her whole life. And that's what she finds out. Oh yeah, and you want to know Lucy's mother that we've been wondering about this entire time? Well, guess what? The woman sitting there at the table that looks dead and all this stuff, that looks like an absolute skeleton, that's her. Yeah, she's being kept alive. And what it appears to be is that Lee is keeping her alive so that she can eventually, you know, reverse this, this, you know, corrupt situation. And maybe, you know, Lucy's mother, who seems to be very innocent in all this, can actually, um, you know, see the world go back to uh, what it was uh, because of what Vault did, you know? insane absolutely insane so that's lucy's mother that was sitting right there at the table meanwhile you've got her father in there that's one of the most you know absolutely biggest scumbag fathers i've ever seen in my life and he's just sitting there in this this cell being like don't believe her don't believe her don't believe her it's like buddy you're done you're done you are absolutely done and well um yeah no i i can't believe that now in terms of cooper yeah fully understand why he doesn't like these people fully understand why he hated lucy yeah lucy's innocent i love lucy lucy is is awesome but from cooper's perspective why would he trust her you know she's responsible for destroying the whole world you know <laughs> like billions of people so yeah no i understand completely why cooper would feel the way he did it, it really puts you in a perspective of cooper you think he's like the bad guy the whole time He's not the bad guy at all. He's he is getting revenge for this whole thing, you know. Um, wow, just wow. And then to add insult to injury, as if all those reveals wasn't enough, you've got Norm that's in Vault Thirty One, and he sees like all these like you know these bodies and these these you know things or whatever. And now that he's learned about why these people are still around after two hundred some years because they're being kept in this you know this thing. Um, now he's locked inside too, and he can't get out because he's learned apparently too much information. Um, wow. And, uh, well, you get the brotherhood that comes in. You get the brotherhood that comes in with Maximus and stuff like that. They attack. You get a huge battle that goes down. You've got freaking, um, you know, uh, e everything. I mean, the action is absolutely superb. Um, you even have in this one, Cooper, who attacks a whole bunch of the soldiers and attacks Maximus and the rest of them. And he's just sitting there like chilling. And he's just like, yeah, no, like, you know, I don't know what the hell you think you're doing, but you know, you're going to die today. Um, and you got a huge battle that goes down really, really well shot. I love it. They got like the fifties music over the, the top and stuff like that. So good. And it kind of reminds you of the first episode, you know, the battle in the first one, you know? Um, but yeah, so amazing. And then the episode continues and you've got Maximus that goes in there and saves Lucy, um, and saves her dad because he doesn't know what kind of father he is, you know? So he saves him. And then he gets into the armor and almost damn near kills Maximus. And I'm going to admit, I thought Maximus was dead. I really did. I thought that was going to be it for his character. Um, Lucy's dad is one of the biggest scumbags ever. I mean, honestly. And she points the gun towards him. She thinks Maximus is dead. And she does just not have it in her to kill him. She just doesn't. And then you've got Cooper that comes in, right? And I was like, okay. Cooper's gonna do it, you know, Cooper's gonna fight him off, and he does, right, but then you find out that, of course, he's the only one that can lead him back to his family, so if he wants to see his family whatsoever, he's gotta keep him alive, he can't kill him, you know, so they sadly let him go, and uh, Lucy's dad is now just out there, doing God knows what in that friggin' suit, and yeah, no, he's gonna be a force of nature, I'll tell you that right now, um, but now you've got Lucy and you've got Cooper that now think Maximus is dead because he wasn't responding and they leave and they leave together. And now you've got Cooper and Lucy that are now in alliance and you've got Maximus who does wake up, but it's too late. Lucy and, and Cooper are already gone. Um, and now you've got the fear of, you know, Lucy's dad that's just out there, you know, um, she puts her mother down, which was good, but you know, her dad is still roaming out there. So Wow. Um, and then in the midst of all that, you've got Lee that also dies as well too, um, in battle against the Brotherhood. She bleeds out. She dies, you know, uh, really felt bad for her in the end. I mean, honestly, we really judged her too harshly, right? Because here she is attacking the, you know, the Vault 33 in the first episode, but it's like, ain't she justified? Yeah, she is. You know, she thinks these are all psycho murderers, you know, which in a way they are. So, um, this episode plays with my mind so much, it's not even funny. I've never had an episode do that in my entire life. Um, and well, you know, 
Now you've got Lucy, you've got Cooper, they're together. You've got Maximus now that's with the Brotherhood. You've got LA that's now, you know, being brought back in some weird, crazy way. And I mean, we're gonna have to see what happens in season two. Although I will say this, I got pretty excited when I saw uh, Lucy's dad arrive to New Vegas. Uh, that was that was really cool. Um, and that's kind of how they, they cap things off. So Insane TV series, man. I got to tell you, insane TV show with so much to it. It's unbelievable how good this show was. I mean, honestly. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I, uh, yeah, no, I'm speechless after that finale. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for the whole season. I mean, honestly, if the reviews haven't shown it already, 10 out of 10 for the whole season. I would not change anything about this season. It was flawless. Um, I'm going to do a full season re uh, review for this because I do want to look back on it and fully go into it with all the details and all the stuff, you know, and to kind of do an overview of the season. But wow. I mean, honestly, just incredible. So let me know your thoughts. What did you think of the finale of Fallout? What did you think of Fallout in general? Post comments down below. And if you're new to the channel, guys, and you enjoy videos like this, make sure to click to subscribe until you don't miss any other videos for Fallout. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more videos for Fallout. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Mm -hmm.